Hi guys. In today's lab, I will show you how to create snapshot, snapshot clone to new dataset, rollback and replication in true NAS. Snapshot will serve as our backup versions depending on the date and time we want it to be executed. Let's start. Let us go to storage, then pools. We will only have one pool and one data set at the moment. Let us check tasks. And then periodic snapshot tasks. I previously created snapshot tasks before. Each tasks has different schedule of execution. And we already have snapshots taken by these tasks. We gonna use those snapshots later. Now, let us create our new task. Select the pool or dataset that you want to create a snapshot. For this lab, we will select HR dataset. For the schedule, you may use the existing template or customize your own. Let us try to set our preferred schedule. I will set it to 4.15 pm. For the months, you may specify to which month this will only be executed. Let us just say that we need to do it for all the 12 months. For those who operate for just Monday to Friday, you may specify it here too. While to those who operates 24 by 7, you may select the entire 7 days in a week. For the begin time, just set it the same with our schedule. Then submit. Since it is almost 4.15 pm, we can wait for a moment and see our tasks running. While we are waiting, we can double check the current time in our true NAS server. Almost there. Let us go back to our snapshot tasks. Oh yeah. It's really quick. That is because we only have a very small size of file in our dataset. It runs based on schedule. Now let us check the files we have using our Windows Explorer. Let us check the snapshots we have in our storage. We have now a total of 4 snapshots created, including the latest one generated at 4.15 pm. Let us try to roll back using the newer intermediate, child, and clone. Got an error. It says I cannot roll back to this snapshot because there is a newer snapshots. We should delete those two new snapshots first before we are able to restore this one. Unfortunately, that's not our best option. This means that newer intermediate, child, and clone only best apply on the latest snapshot. If we just lost a later update, we can use the clone to new data set and then copy the file having an update. Let's have a try. Select clone to new data set. Then submit. Now a new data set was created from one of our snapshots. Let us try to check the files inside the newly restored snapshot. We have three txt files inside it. Now let us try to delete a file inside our HR dataset. Let us delete another one. Then roll back a snapshot. This time we will use the latest snapshot we have. Let us keep newer intermediate, child, and clone option. Then check the files again in our HR dataset. We have three files again. Let us try to delete and restore a snapshot again. There we go, files are restored as expected.
In our next rollback, we may delete other snapshots. So, let us record our snapshot information. Now let us try to roll back using the no safety check option. By clicking the question mark icon beside it, we can check the information of this action. As you have noticed, the most recent snapshot is deleted. So, we have to be very careful in using the rollback feature. We lost the snapshot executed at 4.15 pm. Now, let us check our files inside the HR folder. As we could see our preferred snapshot was restored. We now only have two files left. Previously there are three. Now let us try another rollback option. Let us try the newer clone. Rollback was successful but the most recent snapshot is also destroyed. Be careful in using the rollback feature. I recommend to use clone to new dataset and then copy your latest file back to your current dataset. Moving forward. Let us now proceed in configuring replication tasks. Our second true NAS core will serve as our backup in case our primary true NAS fails to work well as expected. We did not create a dataset for now. The replication process will be the one to do it automatically for us. Also, we don't have any copy of snapshots. Now, let us start in creating a replication tasks. For source location, select on a different system since we are pulling a file from a different true NAS machine. Then let us create a new SSH connection. Select a name that is related to your source true NAS machine. For true NAS URL, just copy your source true NAS URL and paste it under true NAS URL field. I preferred to use HTTPS rather than using HTTP. Then our true NAS root password. For private key, select generate new. Now click create SSH connection. This time, we will select our preferred pool or dataset that we need to replicate. We detected two snapshots on our source true NAS. Let's see. Yeah, we currently have two snapshots saved for our HR dataset. Check recursive. Since our replication is within our trusted network, we will use no encryption. Then specify our destination. Now hit next. For schedule, we will keep the default template for now. Then click Start Replication. For now we still don't have the HR dataset. Also we don't have the snapshots yet. Now let us go back to Replication Task. And then let us run our task manually by clicking Run Now button. Our task is now in running state. Let's just wait for a couple of seconds. Now finished. The two snapshots are successfully replicated. Also, the HR dataset is created having the same size with our source true NAS dataset which has the recent snapshot. The next thing we need to do is to check the files inside our HR dataset. That's great. Replication is successful. Just a reminder. Both newer clone and no safety check rollback options delete all newer datasets. Be careful of using those options. I hope I helped you even just a little guys. Thank you for watching and see you in our next lab.